In this video, we discuss the halting problem. The halting problem asks the following question. Is it possible, in general, to write a program that can tell, given a description of another program and its inputs, and without executing this program, whether the given program with its given inputs will halt? So, is it possible? Can we write a subroutine such as halting problem decider, which should accept as input a description of an arbitrary program, we'll call that P, and its inputs, we'll call that X, and determine without executing the inputted program whether it will halt given the inputs? Well, the simple answer is no, and it was Alan Turing who, in 1936, proved that a machine for solving the halting problem could not exist. The halting problem dispelled the belief held up until this point that only limits on algorithms were existing hardware, for example, the size of memory or the speed of processors. You're not actually required to be able to prove mathematically the halting problem in the exam. What you do need to understand is, in essence, what the halting problem shows is there exists some problems which simply cannot be solved by computers. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the halting problem and what does it prove?